Hey everyone, today I've got a different sort of video for y'all. We don't got the green screen, we don't got a script or a complicated backstory involving an editor that doesn't actually exist. No, instead, I'm gonna sit here and tell you a little story because this is a video that I am calling the Poke Memories Tag. Now, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are just one month away if I edit this video in time and get it out on the day that I'm planning to. And uh, it's exciting, you know, new uh, new Pokemon game, new journey to be had. But it's also t at times like this where it's nice to look back on memories from the past. And that is what we're doing here today. I'm going to be telling you a story of a very specific uh, memory that I have related to Pokemon. And then I'm going to tag some people and they will do the same. And then they'll hopefully tag some people and do the same. And it'll be a whole big thing. We can all reminisce about the good times we've had with Pokemon together. And it'll be a good time. There's no real set rules or formula for this that I've thought of. It's kind of just, you know, pick a memory, pick a story that's related to Pokemon. That's very tangentially related to Pokemon if you want. Doesn't really matter. And just, you know... Talk about it for as long or as little as you want, and hopefully we can all have a good time, you know, reminiscing about this franchise that we love together, and it'll be great. And also, as a fun little thing, uh, if you do partake in this tag at any point, I am going to be putting together a playlist of all the videos of everyone who's done it, so if you do it, uh, tweet a link to it at me on Twitter, at the chip tide. link is in the description down below, and I will throw that in a playlist, and that playlist will also be in the description down below, so you can check out everyone else who's done this tag, and it'll be, it'll be a fun time. I hope it's gonna be fun. And you know what? This is what happens when I don't have a script. I end up rambling way too much, so I'm gonna cut myself off on this intro right here. All the information is down in the description down below. Maybe a pinned comment if I forgot anything. It's all down there, but without further ado, grab a blanket, Grab a nice hot beverage if you're into that sort of thing. Do whatever the heck you want. Just get comfortable because today I am telling you a story that kind of directly ends with this video. Well, I hope it doesn't end. This video is a part of it and it is ongoing. But what I'm trying to get at is this is the story of how I came to start making Pokemon content on YouTube by becoming a filthy, filthy hacker. So I don't remember exactly when this story happened, it was a while ago, somewhere between the release of Black and White and Black and White 2, maybe 2010, 2011, something like that. This is a time in my life where, as a kid, I was super into Pokemon. Pokemon Platinum was my first game, and I was, you know, I was all in. The games, the TV show, the Pokemon cards, me and my brother, we, we, you know, we lived Pokemon, we breathed Pokemon. But around this time, I felt like I was maybe kind of starting to phase out of it for a little bit. No real reason why. I just, you know, other games were more, I was more into other stuff at that point. That is, until I heard someone at school talking about something called the Action Replay. Now, for people who don't know what that is, the Action Replay was kind of, it looked like if you had a DS cartridge and then a DS cartridge port on top of it, so you could put the action replay into your DS, and you could put a game into the action replay, and what it would do is let you hack your Pokemon game, put all sorts of different cheats in it. And it was super sketchy, very easily I feel like could have ruined your game if you even like nudged it a little wrong. Uh, but me and my brother heard about it, and we wanted one so bad, and eventually our parents got us one. And we went crazy with it. The first game of choice uh, was Pokemon Platinum, the first game I had. And I, you know, 999 Rare Candies got everyone to level 100. Easy. Uh, you know, there was cheats to max out wild Pokemon. So you could make it so every single wild Pokemon was level 98. You could catch anything, pump two Rare Candies into it. Bada bing, bada boom, you got a level 100 of anything in the game. Uh, you could catch trainers Pokemon. You could go into the Elite Four, chuck a Pokeball at their first Pokemon, catch it, and then it would immediately end the battle. So in my original Pokemon Platinum, I have boxes full of just all of the Elite Four's first Pokemon. Just because you could. It was fun, you know? Uh, you could walk through walls, which was super sketchy, but you could, you know, just 
wander through trees. You could get out of bounds, walk into the void. It was crazy. But you know what? It was a lot of fun. I had already beaten the whole game at that point, so it wasn't like I was cheating to, you know, like make the game easier. It was already done. I already beat it. And it was just, you know, it was messing around. It was fun. So we kind of were just aimlessly, you know, doing shenanigans to start. But I had remembered here, I don't even remember where I would have heard about this. Somewhere on the internet or on the playground, rumors, something like that. But uh, I had remembered that there were a few Pokemon in Pokemon Platinum that you could not catch normally in the game. Uh, those being Darkrai, uh, what's it called? Uh, Shaman, <laughs> obviously. Darkrai, Shaman, and Arceus. You could not get them in normal play. I didn't know at the time, but you had to do like some event that was limited time. I couldn't do it. I had missed the boat. But with action replay, I thought maybe, maybe there's a chance. So I googled how to catch Arceus in Pokemon Platinum, and this video came up that was called something like Let's Play Pokemon Platinum Episode 40 whatever whatever Arceus. And I was like, Let's Play? What does that mean? I click on the video and it's this dude commentating and he's got like this layout with a team at the bottom. And I was like, team? What is this? Did he play through the whole game on YouTube? Sure enough, he did. And that's where I first learned about Let's Plays. And this was, you know, nowadays Let's Plays a dime a dozen all over YouTube. Back then, I feel like not that many people were doing it. And I was like, yo, this is like the coolest thing ever. It was like, felt like watching a TV show, but also with Pokemon, it was really cool. And then, so I watched that whole Let's Play. I watched a whole bunch of Pokemon Let's Plays. And then I fell down the rabbit hole of, all the Pokemon content on YouTube. I got super into channels like Jaywitz, uh, The National Dex, Shady Penguin, all that stuff. And let's just say Pokemon uh, phase, not phasing out. Went back in even stronger. Uh, when Pokemon X and Y came out, I was all over the news leaks on YouTube. People talking about it, speculating it, playing it eventually. I kind of, that was the only time in my life where I like, sort of knew about like the Pokemon meta, like competitive Pokemon meta. Now, now I'm, it's insane now, but there was a brief moment where I was like, I kind of understand this. I never did it, I was never good at it. But I was all in a Pokemon and all because of the action replay that led me to discover Let's Plays. So fast forward to the summer of 2016. I'm going to be a junior in high school, I believe. Uh, and I was trying to figure out what I could do over the summer that was somewhat productive. You know, my parents didn't want me just sitting around playing video games for the whole summer. They wanted me to, you know, get a job or just do something, you know, that was productive. And I had the idea, well, maybe I could do both. Sit around and play video games all day while also being productive. See, I had watched a ton of Pokemon stuff at this point. Let's Plays, Nuzlocke's, more scripted stuff. And I thought, you know what? I bet I could do that. And so I did some research. I got a terrible, terrible microphone that sounded awful, but it was like five bucks. I got some super janky screen recorder uh, software. And that summer I made the first episode of my first ever Let's Play of Pokemon Platinum that's still on this channel to this day. Uh, you could watch it if you want, but fair warning, like I said, my microphone was horrible. It's bad, it's, it's real bad to listen to. It's just, it's not good. And yeah, that summer I started uploading Pokemon content to this channel and basically never stopped to this day. I don't do exclusively Pokemon stuff anymore, and I did take some breaks here and there. My style has changed a lot. I started with Let's Plays. I went to, you know, Randomizer, Nuzlocke, super gimmicky playthroughs. I was able to expand beyond just playing the DS games over and over and over and over again, do some more 3DS games, some other games, move to more scripted stuff, but Basically, none of this would have ever happened, possibly, if I hadn't 
started that first Let's Play, that wouldn't have happened if I hadn't discovered Let's Plays as a thing back in 2010, and that probably wouldn't have happened if not for that little action replay. And that is the story of how this YouTube channel was born off of getting a bunch of rare candies and juicing my Pokemon up. And that's gonna be the end of my video, but it wouldn't be a proper tag video if I didn't tag some people to, you know, carry on the torch. So I'm gonna tag three people here, uh, and then, you know, those people can tag some more people, those people can tag some more people. If you don't get tagged, but you see this video and you're like, hey, I wanna do that, seems fun, then you know what? I'm also tagging you, uh, feel free to do it. Or if you don't have a channel and you don't wanna do it, but you wanna share a memory, pop it in the comments down below. I would love to hear it. But I am going to be tagging three channels, like I said. Of course, you know the first one if you've been around the channel for a while. Gotta do my boy Lantern Joe. We've done a lot of series together. He's the only person I've ever done a full co-op series with. Uh, so, you know, that's, I gotta do my boy. I gotta do my boy. So Lantern Joe is number one. Number two, another familiar face or perhaps familiar voice if you've been around the channel for a while, some Easter eggs here and there. I'm doing Icy Richard, who doesn't do exclusively Pokemon stuff, but yeah, and I have it on good authority that he is a Pokemon fan from he himself. And so you are tagged as well. And the last one I'm gonna tag is Goki Gamer. Uh, another great channel, does a lot of draft league stuff, so you know, if you're into that more competitive scene, those are the three channels I'm tagging, but again, if you are watching this video and you want to do it, then you know what, you are tagged as well, but I'm going to end off this video right here. I cannot wait to hear all your guys' memories. I'm going to put the playlist together in the description if you want to just keep on binging, find some more channels you love, and hopefully... We can all have a good time while we sit and wait for Scarlet and Violet to come out. I am super excited, but I will see you all in whatever video of mine or anyone else's. I guess I won't see you in someone else's video. But regardless, I hope you have a good time, and I will see you then. But until then, don't forget to take it easy.